strong squad for me. Ain't nobody hot as me. Ain't nobody stopping me. Double team, double team. Double beats, holla at me. Whoever wanna see me check the bar. Dare to step up, man. You know you next to fall. I lace them up and you know I'm ready to go. Sit back and enjoy this show. You can't hold me. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's our Pac King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. It's time for the stat sheet stuff to go up against OJ May on the Dallas Mavericks. Yes, I am still at the shooting guard position. It's nothing that I can kind of do about it right now, seeing as though we are an injury-prone team. But one thing I will tell you is we are developing some here in New Orleans. I think to tell you the truth, we are the big three. Yes, there is no big three on the West Coast if you think about it. But now there is me, the Brow and Austin Rivers. We step it up day in and day out to get wins. I'm telling you right now, everybody thought that Eric Gordon was going to be the star player on this team this year. When that's not the case, Austin Rivers, he has been stepping it up at the point guard position ever since. Vasquez got hurt and ever since Gordon got hurt he's been getting more minutes I even talked to the GM about Austin I said hey GM listen it's one thing that we need on that court and that's Austin I don't think that we're going to be able to do it without him and he just straight up told me hey you know I'll see what I can do I'll see if I can make things happen and Austin Rivers minutes have just went crazy they fluctuated so well and now he's the starting point guard. I'm the starting shooting guard. And you guys already know that Anthony Davis at the number one pick with me. I don't know how 2K does it. But he's definitely the starting power forward. And we just do what it does, man. Now, one thing I will tell y'all guys. When it comes to getting double team, Austin Rivers is always wide open for me in the corner. You know, he sits there like a prostitute sometimes thanks to YMD. But I'm just happy that me and him are able to see eye to eye. And one thing I will say, even though I don't score that many points, they love to shoot the double team to me. Look, I have zero points and eight assists, and I'm not doing anything but just dropping these dimes all game long. Now, one thing I will tell y'all guys, in the second quarter, things kind of changed. We weren't seeing on the... You know, seeing eye to eye, the team wasn't on the same page. And another big thing that happened was Austin Rivers and Anthony Davis sat out while I, while I stayed in the game. Now, even though I was out there getting cookies and all of that and getting out on a fast break, it still wasn't looking good for us. You know, we're still down. We're still fighting to come back. And I was just trying to think of everything that we could do to get back in this game. I even was making mistakes such as letting OJ Mayo shoot threes in my face. Like, that that's just how bad things got. It was even a point in the game where I threw the controller. I said, you know what? I'm not playing this game no more. I can't take it. And we're only down eight. It's only the second quarter. But... My intuition, I was just thinking, hey, you know what? I need to do something. I need to make my team come back. I need to think of something great to do. So I decided to give 2K a little bit of cheese with the little up and unders right there. So whatever I can do to try to bring my team back, I will do. Now, you guys might notice that I'm close to a double-double. And the only reason for this is I'm getting my assists up in the beginning of the game. I've decided to change the way I play 2K. Since I'm playing on Hall of Fame, as soon as I score probably about six to eight points, I automatically just get double teamed and double teamed and double teamed and double teamed. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to get my assists first and then I'm going to work on my scoring. But let's highlight this play right here. You notice that they get a backcourt violation, right? And we have three seconds to do something to add just a couple more points on the board. So they pass to me. You all, you know I'm automatically going to the paint. But I end up doing the turnaround fadeaway. Now, you guys might notice I'm celebrating. But do you think I got that shot off? I'm not totally sure if I got it off. But, hey, I'll celebrate with them. I was clapping it up. I was going crazy in the room. And the double-double is definitely in effect. So, as the ref reviews it, I'm like, come on, ref, let me see if I made this shot. So, as I look at the shot, I did get it off. I was hype. I was running around crazy. <laughs> and I was going into the locker room like, yeah, you know what? I I'm feeling good about this, man. We may be able to come back. We may be able to get this win. But I won't take nothing away from Dallas Mavericks at all. But let's get into halftime, guys. And I'll see you all right after that. Now, presented by Sprint. Glad you're along for the ride as we get set to bring you the halftime show. The NBA season beginning to take shape. Out in Dallas, the Mavericks are ahead against New Orleans. A big game for them right now. A win here would move them into the eighth seed in the conference. And Chris Kamen's having no problems scoring against the defense of the Hornets. He's up to 14 points and not much to complain about with his shot selection either. A nice field goal percentage in the first half. And giving it their all, the New Orleans Hornets. 
They've been having their way inside. A huge lead when it comes to points in the paint, making it very hard to defend against them. The machine has been locked in so far. He's got 13 points and is also helping set the table. Who's ready to eat? And now we'll get you back out to American Airlines Center. Coming out of the locker room, the coach basically told us to step it up defensively and offensively. So I was just letting OJ Mayo know I had that lockdown defender and that it wasn't nothing easy in the paint against me. Now offensively, I still had to do things. I still had to put points on the board. Now 13 and 10 may be a good stat line, you know, in the NBA, but on 2K, it's nowhere near enough. So I'm just giving these guys the Kobe, just showing them what it's all about, showing them that I still could put points on the board. Now I have 17 and 10 so far. It's 57 to 60. But this play right here pissed me off. I just want you guys to see what happens when you get 2K. Yeah, that's a new term I made up. I know everybody knows about it, man, when things like this happen. How does Sean Marion make a three like that? You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even wide open. I know it wasn't that contested, but come on. Things like that happen all the time in 2K, and I just don't understand it. But check out that move right there. I give Sean Marion a little bit of payback right there. Even though I gave Vince Carter that behind the back, Marion was still up in that poster. But all I got to say to 2K is, man, bring the posters back from 2K12. I love those posters, man. But you guys can see here that the dynamic goals are telling me you got to give your team the lead. So you already know what that means, right? In my brain, some clicked on and say, you know what? It's time to become a scoring machine. So I'm just going to score, score, score. Now, I know that you guys may hate this. I know you might hate this one-man show. But, hey, it has to be done. I got 14 assists. Aren't you guys happy with that? <laughs> Aren't you happy with these reverse dunks? Aren't you happy with the highlights? I don't know. We will see. But... I was loving the ISO game. I was giving OJ Mayo that work. I was giving anybody that just tried to put their paws on me that work. Real rap, because you know, in 2K, you get fouled so much. You get beat down to a pulp trying to go into the lane. But I did get another assist right there from Aminu. He's showing some initiative. But I will tell you guys, the ISO game. Mm -mm -mm. Let me show you this, girl. Check out the around the world spin move. That's what I called it. I don't know why, but I went all the way around the world just to get a spin layup off. I tried to dunk it, but hey, they didn't give me the animation. But check out that block. I didn't hear any sound right there. You know, usually, you know, back in the old 2Ks, you heard a little sound of the ball actually getting slapped, but it's all good. I'm not mad about that. I'm stepping it up defensively. The game is tied up, but I ended up sagging off. I don't understand that. What was I thinking? I just thought, hey, OJ Mayo can't make that. You know, this is 2K. But I didn't think of the Hall of Fame standard, and he nailed it. Now, we're only down one. But they put that in brand on me. So check this move out. <laughs> I'm saying, though, I'm saying, though, how many of y'all ever did that move to a big guy? I, I thought he should have fell. I, I don't know. But I did complete my goal. I ended up taking the lead. And we ended up holding on to it for a little bit. You know, Collison tried to step it up and give it over to OJ. But I told him, nah, bruh, not today. And, you know, I had to throw the alley-oop. Now, one thing I'm saying is I would have been pissed if I would have threw the ball out of bounds and Amina wouldn't have caught it. Because you guys know I'm not the best passer in the NBA. I am horrible when it comes to passing. But check out Austin Rivers going on the ISO, man. But hold on, hold on. Look at that stat line. I didn't even know that I had 37, 10, and 18 until that moment. But check that out. Did y'all see that turnover? Who do y'all think that turnover was on? Who do you think fumbled the ball all up in the paint? I'm just saying, you know, I, I was kind of mad. Man, those things happen all the time in 2K. It's really nothing you can do about it. But I know there's one thing that I can do. I could put a little spin on things. And I don't mean spin move. I mean 360 dunk. <laughs> yeah, man, I had to get wild with them real quick just to go up to. I had to make the crowd just go silent. But y'all already know y'all going to get this replay, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm sick and tired of 2K not playing no replays for me. I'm getting sick and tired of it. You know, it's all good, though. But one thing that you really don't see in 2K that much is a clear path foul. So, with this right here, I let OJ Mayo shoot the three because I knew he wasn't going to make it. Now, Cayman, I don't know why he missed that blank, that point blank uh, layup. But check that out right there. A clear path foul. In NBA 2K13, is that even possible? When, when does that even happen? But it's all good. It's 30 seconds left. We're up four. And all I got to do is put the nail in the coffin. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to put the nail in the coffin. The big three, they stepped it up definitely this game. Now, it's just time for me to do what I do. You know, dig a little hole real quick. 
put the five coffins in there real quick. Yeah, we, we just gonna do do the starters. We're not gonna put the whole team in the coffins. We're just gonna put the starters in the coffins. You know what I'm saying? Dig a hole for them and just throw them in. <laughs> it's all good though, but I did make the free throws and the coach decided to sit me out. He just let me know, you know, take a little rest for next game. You definitely did what you had to do. I had 43, 11, and 18. The stat lines it takes just to win the game by, what is that? Eight points? Come on. Really? It takes that type of stat line? <laughs> but it was a great game. And I definitely thank y'all for watching. You know, OJ Mayo got the stink face on right now. He mad. You know, things like that happen all the time. Vince had to get up out of there. Vince ain't Vince ain't about that life. You know? <laughs> but check me up clapping it up on the bench. You know? I, I wish Austin Rivers would have been standing over there. You know, the big three would have been in full effect. But let's get into this song by KC, man. They can't hold me. I'm going to see y'all right after that. They can't hold me, hold me the can, they can't hold me, hold me the can, they can't hold me, hold me the can, they can't hold me no the can They can't hold me no the can They can't hold me, hold me the can, they can't hold me, hold me the can Since I was a youngin' I've been on the scene, jump shot me, they call me the machine I'm cranking out jumpers whenever I want it, uh Shake the game, baby, you can call me thunder I'm a beast though, just let me feast though Feel like I'm balling by myself, this is a free throw I'm lethal, I steal your possession like it was mine Debo, you throw enough bricks anyway Home Depot, I do it my way, Carlito On South Beach, chilling so hard, I'm putting out the heat though I got no equal, and I'm a hunter, but I pray like Tebow I'm on fire and they ice cold Eskimos I cook a hater like potatoes Never let them stress me out Fumble through the playbook while the trainer stretch me out Grab the rock and then we out Boy, you I grab the rebound Put it back, big dog, they be like me out High velocity, LeBron ain't stopping me KD can't see me while he watching me Obstacles, obstacles Here you go with another Player of the Month award to add to your collection You gotta be getting tired of winning these things at this point Domination never gets tiring, man. I ain't gonna rest until I swept this award, won the MVP, and held up that trophy at the end of the finals. When I'm at the top of my game, nobody can stop me. And it's starting to show here already. You better remember all this in June, too. See, I'm a forward thinker. And this is just one of the early stops on a long and winding road this season. I'm gonna highlight you on the next video, man. This is IKC signing out. Y'all have a great day. Peace.